Hello, welcome to Stalo Gaming. I'm working on a short, creepy game called Astrophobia. Shout out to the musical Pete for helping me come up with that title. I love it. I didn't know there was a fear of stars in space, but I guess there's a fear for everything. That makes sense though, because the reason this game is even happening is because I looked up at the sky and saw more stars than I was comfortable with. This is the first out of two devlogs for this game. Here I'm starting to animate the eye. I was using Genobot Crate's old Tinkerer Studios um, How to Rig and Animate Cartoon Eyes video. Here it is after I finished, but it's not the final version. The next couple of things I'm going to model for like an outdoor camp in the woods. Ignore how long in between this clip and the last clip are for each other, but I started modeling the fireplace using Dragon 3D's low poly campfire scene in 25 minutes video tutorial on how to make one, but I didn't realize I wasn't recording the screen until the end, so that's beautiful. So the video I was watching to create the tent was Polycube's campfire in Blender's video. Usually in Blender, like for people's screens, it'll show what they're doing with their mouse, but I don't think this video did, had it. So I'll explain it here. So I used the original cube. I did control R and scroll down on my mouse to create two lines. I deleted the face in between those two lines for the tent opening, but there were some obvious fails in between. So I finally clicked the top vertices pressed M for the merge tab and connected them to the center. And that's how I made the tent shape. I did that to the other side too. And I noticed that the other side also had an opening. So I just redid everything because I only wanted one opening. I like how simple it looks because I envisioned this game using low poly assets. Nothing really too detailed. I just wanted a quick game. So for the telescope, I was honestly willing to spend $9 on a low poly one that looks way better than the one I'm about to make. The reason I didn't was because I saw a 2D version of this telescope I'm making now on Google Images and that's when I thought that I could do it on my own. As you can see it's pretty simple if you don't care about quality but as a beginner in Blender I thought it was really cool that I was able to envision it in my head or in that 2D image and then make it 3D on Blender using simple shapes. I recently learned about Unity's terrain system just because I wanted to implement it to Astrophobia. I used Bracky's tutorial to learn how to have the player stand on top of the bumpy floors as well as come back down to the original flooring with the bumpy terrain. Oh god, this is this part was the fun part. I'm not sure why it took me this long to figure out how to get the interactions to work, but it did. So basically I wanted the character to bump into an object, in this case the campfire, and once the player was close enough to the object, have them press E for text to appear on the screen. But as you can tell from my code, I didn't realize I didn't have an update method. I was just using on trigger. So of course that's why it wasn't working. But I didn't know that then. It took me so long. And then I was basically getting crazy. <laughs> I made the campfires collision bigger. I put a collision detector in front of the player instead of their own box collider. This was a very sad moment <laughs> for me, for sure. Even looking back on it, I'm like, why did it take me that long? You can see my camera shaking here just because I was so happy that I was finally able to get it. Wow, it's an amazing feeling, but <laughs> just looking at back at the time loss but that's okay because now i'll learn even more and i'll do that for next time basically the way i solved this was i think i watched another brackies tutorial i don't remember which one because i think it was like semi unrelated to what i wanted to fix and realized that bracky script had the update method also on top of on trigger so i went back to the code of dragon cave the secret quest it was a gmtk game jam i did this year because i wanted to see how i implemented the on trigger enter for that game and i noticed that i had a bool method in the on trigger enter and in the update method i had if that was true on top of the player pressing e it would work i went ahead and created another box collider for the tent with the on trigger on created a new script for that as well as for the telescope I'm thinking that I could have done it on the same script if I just did an else if statement based on tags, but honestly I'm just so happy this worked I decided not to break something that wasn't broken. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!